For the first time in eight years, softball has been reinstated as an Olympic sport. ECU has been working with softball for many years, but with this new reinstatement, it really ignites the fire for helping sports science improve those athletes that may be future Olympic medalists. Australia has a huge background and success in the Olympic Games. It's one of only two nations that have medaled in every Olympic Games that softball has been a part of. So 96, 2000, 04, and 08, we've been Olympic medalists, which is pretty impressive. Well, pitching is a really important part of success in softball. So we're looking at a lot of different factors in order to improve the pitching velocity and the amount of spin, which gives break, makes it really difficult to hit the pitches. By looking at the 3D kinematics, which is how the body moves, how each joint moves, and the timing of it, along with how much force they're applying into the ground, we're able to pick the small differences in our better performers as far as pitching performance goes. From that, we can target the areas that they need for improvement. So that might be they need to improve their strength, or it might be that they need to improve some technical aspect of their pitching. All of those factors together ultimately give you both the speed and the movement on the pitches that make it a really difficult thing to do to successfully hit the ball. Well, the biggest difference in this research versus a lot of the research you see even in, in sports science environments is we bring the lab out of the lab and we bring that equipment to the field. It makes it what we call more ecologically valid. There's what we do in the lab, but that doesn't represent the, the whole of sport that we understand, the different environments, the textures of the ground. So with the um, sensors we put in their shoes, with the um, inertial measurement units we put on their body, they can perform the sport exactly as they would normally and in the context that they're actually playing that sport. That gives us unique insight into how athletes really perform on the field versus that separation when they're normally in the lab. It's a big difference in everything that we do as far as my research is concerned, is that instead of bringing athletes in the lab, we bring the lab to them. 